What should we ask the tarot today? I have my Ask the Tarot Love and Abundance Edition Oracle deck that I designed myself. There is a link in the bio to several decks that I've designed and also for private readings. But in the meantime, what should we ask the tarot today? What is the potential of this relationship? Spirit, for the viewer, what is the potential of this relationship, please? So while I'm shuffling, I do have two readings left for this upcoming 1212 portal that is very prominent for soulmates, twin flames, and twin souls. So if you would like to know about this portal, I have two of those readings on special. Bottom of the deck, we have got Page of Cups, Strength, Three of Wands and Three of Pentacles. There is a potential of commitment and collaboration. A potential for manifesting all of the things that you have been dreaming about. An unbreakable bond and a declaration of love. Let's look a little deeper. We have two cards with the number three. Threes within tarot is talking about unification. It speaks of two coming together and then birthing a new life. This Three of Pentacles is grounded, solid energy. Evidence of this happening within physicality. This can speak of a home, this can speak of a joint business, and this can speak of families coming together. The Three of Wands is a card of manifestation, thinking and dreaming long term, seeing the path ahead of you with clarity. Now the difference between the Two of Wands and the Three of Wands is that the Two of Wands is remaining in that mental state, the realm of imagination, focusing on what it is that you both want. The Three of Wands, however, is an action card. Now that you have both come to a place of clarity, declaring the things that you desire, this is now taking movement and action towards them. This particular strength card is very interesting. This creature here is called a badger. They look very sweet. And at one point in time, there was many of them in the UK. As cute and as sweet as they look, they are ferocious. As children, we were told to never go near one because they will bite. And when they do, they will not let go. So I am having two different scenarios come to my mind when I see this card. The first is that you are both very protective over this relationship. A relationship where you will not let go of one another in all of the best ways possible. We can see very faintly on his forehead the mark of the infinity symbol. You and this person may have lived many lifetimes together and have a deep soul bond. The other thing that I am noticing about this illustration is the snake here. And clearly in this picture, the badger is ridding everybody of this snake. So to me, there is also a clearing away. Any people or places or things that do not support this relationship will be removed. Then we have this beautiful Page of Cups card. The pages are all about messages and the cups are all about love and emotion. The little fish in the acorn cup is speaking of miracles. I often see the Page of Cups as the wild card of tarot, telling you to expect the unexpected. This is also a card of proposals and surprises. Spirit, what else would you like to tell us about the potential of this relationship? It feels like a strong bond that is going to the next stage of commitment. A declaration of love, a removal of anything that no longer serves. This relationship to be shifted, all obstacles removed. But what else, Spirit? What else ought we to know, please, Spirit? I'll take the top three. We have the Knight of Wands, the Hierophant, and the Eight of Cups. For some of you, there will be travel and moving forwards. 
your path will be illuminated and there will be much satisfaction within this. Once again, we see the commitment that is coming through with the Hierophant. We see a key and a compass. As I had just mentioned, you will be directed on your path and so will this person be. The key could be symbolic of a home or potentially a business. Look, and can you see that this key is on a thread that the Hierophant themselves is holding? I believe that this key is going to be offered to you. And we have the Knight of Wands, passionate action that is going to be taken towards you. There is someone who is moving very stealthily here. We have a little saying that is cunning like a fox. Once again, this could be related to the surprise that we are seeing here. So in essence, what is the potential of this relationship? There is high level commitment and an offer coming through for you. A surprise, perhaps a proposal. Yours and their path being illuminated, showing you how to overcome any obstacles. Manifestations turning into reality and two cards of commitment. If you would like to learn what the potential is of your relationship, there is a link in my bio to private readings. If you are still looking for gifts for people in your life who love tarot, then I do have some wonderful cards and packages available. All links are in my bio.